Hello everyone. Welcome to part 41 of SQL for beginner series. In this video session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate using delete statement for deleting the records from the table. So how to use delete statements okay in SQL for what is the purpose for deleting the table records table records. So let's move to the practical mode where I practically demonstrate using the delete statement in SQL for deleting the table records. Fine. So I would like to use this employees table inside this QFox. So in order to perform operations on the table records of these employees, I will have to first use the QFox. I have to first select the QFox DB. Then only I can use here four DBs are there. Current selection is world. Now how to switch the selection and how to select the database as QFox? You have to say use QFox and run this. When you run this, the QFox DB got selected. Now you can perform operations on the tables of this particular QFox DB under the QFox DB. So before I use a delete statement for deleting the records from this employees table, first I will run the general statement like select star from employees. Okay. So this will retrieve all the records that are there in the employees table. Run this. All the records available under this employees table will be displayed here. So how many records are there? Five records. Where did we get these records from? In the previous videos, I explained, right? So from the previous videos, these records were inserted into this particular employees table. Even employees table was also created as part of the previous videos. Okay, and it has these records inserted as part of the earlier video sessions. Now, from all this, out of these five records, I would like to delete, okay, delete few records. How to do that? For that, I have to use which statement? Delete statement. So before I explain delete statement, you already know how to delete the how to delete the database? Delete database. Which statement we have to use? We have to use drop statement. Okay. And for deleting the and for deleting the tables, which statement we have to use? Again, drop statement. Okay. Drop database, database name. Drop table, table name. These are the statements we have to use. But coming to the deleting the records in a table. We have to use which statement? Delete statement we have to use. Here we should not use drop drop. For deleting the database, we have to use drop statement. For deleting the tables itself, complete table itself, we have to use drop statement. But for deleting the records inside a table, we have to use delete statement. Just see this difference, guys. Okay. So where exactly you have to use drop? Okay. For dropping, for deleting the database and for deleting the tables, we have to use drop statements. For deleting the records inside a table, we have to use delete statements. Now I'm going to delete these records. Okay, here we have five records. First record, second record, third record, fourth record, fifth record. Out of this, I would like to delete few records. How to do that? Delete from table name, that is employees table. From this employees table, delete the records. Where we have to use a where class. Okay, where class condition. Delete from employees where ID is equal to five. Delete from employees where ID is equal to five. What will happen, guys, when I run this? The record in this particular table having the ID as five. That means this particular record will be deleted. Okay. So run this. So one row affected. It got executed properly. Now let's run this select star from employees to see the existing records, like uh, remaining records. So here, out of five records, one record, fifth record, which is having the ID as five, got deleted successfully. Now I will run the another statement delete from employees where name is equal to Tarun. Okay, name is equal to Tarun. So here, where ID is equal to 5, since ID 5 is a numerical value, you don't have to surround that with single quotes. But coming to the name, name is a string type value. So where name is equal to in single quotes, you have to provide the name. Okay, so delete from employees where name is equal to Tarun. Like this, you have to say run this. You see one row got affected and it also executed properly. Select star from employees. Now only three records are there. One, two and four IDs. And third record 
which was having the name as tarun okay arun varun is there tarun is deleted okay tarun record got deleted now so like this we have to use a delete statements case what if i say delete from employees and i don't provide the where class condition what will happen can i run this directly delete from employees i'm not providing the where class condition what will happen all the records that are there in this uh, employees table will be deleted guys since you have not specified any condition here for filtering the records and then deleting those filtered records okay here the records are getting filtered first using the where class uh, and the filtered record is getting deleted okay filtered record or records are getting deleted but coming to deletes from employees we are not providing any where class condition for filtering the record that means all the records in this particular employees table will be deleted run this and select star from employees you see no record is available now that means when you directly say delete star uh, delete from employees without providing the where class condition all the records that are available in that given table will be deleted fine so this is how it works guys okay this is how we have to use the delete statement for deleting the records from the table when you provide the where class it will delete according to the where class condition it will filter and delete those only only specific records it will delete based on the filtration but when you directly say de delete from employees irrespective of any record like all the records from that particular table will be deleted okay your table will become empty your table will become empty your table is not getting deleted here table will still still be there you see here the table is still there but there are no records in the table because delete from employees has deleted all the records from the table so this is how we have to use delete statement in sql for deleting the records from table guys so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye